Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody is having a great Thursday. Well, today is part two of my review for Seven Great Store and we are going to be starting Summer Mood. Why not? The name fits everything. We're just going to go with it. We're going to be starting right down in here and the color that I'm using is 777 which is that brickish red color so how is everybody doing my goodness my goodness my goodness it has been a week and it's only thursday yeah yesterday was something else absolutely the order didn't get there until late, and then by the time it got there, it was time for one of the girls to go home, so there was three of us, and the boss, like I said the other day, fell, and let's see, it's not broken, so I guess fra fractured her, her elbow, so yeah, so she was working one-handed. And we were running around like chickens with our head cut off, trying to help. Oh, yeah. And uh, we didn't get it all done. It was fine. Uh, I was so glad to get out of there last night. You just have no idea. And people just kept coming and coming and coming and coming and coming. It's like, okie dokie. I'm ready for my four days off. <laughs> it just outrageous oh my goodness just too much some days I think I missed crossing one oh no I didn't okay it looked like it yeah I thought I'd start on this one it's not such a big under oh undertaking is that the word <clears throat> yeah that other one it just like hmm maybe not today so I picked this one and I thought I'd start down here on the part that I liked the best out of all of it was this cute little jar so we'll start there and you know me I'll be over there next week and I'll be up here the week after that yeah I just kind of go what in the world did I do there go every which way sometimes and others I can kind of stick with an area but seems like lately I've been stitching on some 14 counts that had lots of different elements so yeah so I've tried to work on one element at a time but then you know we got all the other 14 counts that are like a picture you know, solid picture or whatever. So, uh, six of one half, dozen of another. No biggie. I know it all needs to be stitched, but it's just all in what I want to stitch on at the moment. So, but I just thought this was cute. And you know I'll start the other one for sure. Because I won't be able to stand it. No grand plans for this weekend. I don't think my daughter didn't mention anything. So I think we're taking the week off of hiking and running around and crawling over rocks and that kind of a thing. So, yeah. I was looking through my, <coughs> excuse me, through my, cat, my Joy Sunday box if you will and I ran into I'll have to get it back out that one that was kind of a really big huge sampler one I don't know if anybody remembers that one I don't even know what it was called but it's fair good size I thought you know I really haven't stitched on that one so that's another one with elements if you will so Maybe I'll do a stitch with me and do that one. But I thought that was quite.
quite interesting that I did run into that, so. Who knows? But I'm trying to go through all my stuff and, like, put all the Joy Sundays together and the rest, I mean, spring kits, I kind of know that what they look like because they're pretty consistent on, like, Joy Sunday in their packaging. But the rest of them are, like, helter-skelter. I can't, you know, make heads or tails or anything that's common about them unless I have the front page that says, like, DIY or or something. But, yeah. But I'd like to get all the crazy little joy Sundays together. And make them a a crate. Because my little basket over here is just getting totally out of hand. It needs to have some work done on it. Shall we say? Isn't that a pretty color red? I think it's gorgeous. So we'll stitch with it. For a bit and see if I can get most of this yellow put in. And then there's going to be more of this red in other places, but just in this area. We'll, we'll try our best to focus in one area, but that then sometimes goes by the wayside. I'd like to work on. Uh, that colorful town. I really like that one. And let me get rid of this thread. It's getting a little short. I'm using the needles that were actually in the kit. Because at this point I can find um, oh, any small ones. I know where my 28s are and my 26s. But it was just as easy to take them out of the kit. And I couldn't find any that were small enough, so they must be occupied someplace else. But that's okay. We don't have a shortage of needles around here. I bought probably 12 packs of the 28 count from 1-2-3 uh, Stitch. I've kind of accumulated them over the past last year. And then I got went and got like six or eight of the uh, 26s that I use for my 11 count if it's too tight of a weave. So we got plenty of needles. Plus what comes with each kit. So we're good. We're really good. Yep. I have no idea what I'm going to cook this weekend. I usually have a flavor of the weekend shall we say, but nothing's like jumping out at me and saying, hey, cook me. No, not there yet. Sometimes I know automatically what I'm going to cook, but I don't know. I just don't want hot things for right now. It's been a, a bit warmer, shall I say, than what we're used to. Even my daughter was complaining that it was hot. She couldn't go out and work in the yard, you know, and moving stuff around or working at what she works on as far as crafts. She does woodworking and now when I say that, like, I want to call it loosely carving, but she uses a Dremel and sometimes she'll work with uh, metal and stuff so and then there's always our outdoor activities of her doing her gold panning or we're picking up rocks i know the floor is going to fall through my trailer because i've carted home one too many rocks so it'll be fun oh goodness but other than that, I'm just, I'm not really in the mood to go out and go walking around. Yesterday about did me in. I came home and my hips were so sore from walking around and 
moving and putting stuff away and trying to stay on top of the boss so she didn't pick up something that she shouldn't have. And, yeah, I was, I was done. I came home, had a TV dinner, and called it absolutely good. So, some nights are like that. I told you it would be like this in the summer. In the winter, I'm kind of bored from sitting there and not having a lot of people coming, you know, coming and going. But, yeah, summertime, it's like, holy cow. Some days I just cannot and will not deal. I think we'll go this way. Whoops. Yep, that's fine. So, anybody else got any grand plans? My friend Jill is flying home tomorrow from their big vacation in Florida. So, she'll be having some videos, I'm sure, once she gets home and turned around. She might need a couple days to recuperate, but I know. Go on vacation to relax and enjoy yourself, but I end up wearing myself completely out that I have to come home and just do nothing for a couple of days just to get all acclimated to my surroundings. Because you're on the, the go when we go. I mean, it's like, go, 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 go here, go there, go, th you know, see this, see that. So, yeah. I hope I missed crossing one. Let's see if I can make it back up there and cross that stitch. Oh, come on. Come on, thread. Hang in there, buddies. I've got it. Yay! Whoops. Oh, hit the bell. Of course. Whoops, I'll tie it off here in a little bit. Well, we didn't get too much done, but it's a start. I have to go back there and pick up those yellows and then start around there. So maybe it'll start looking like something pretty fast. We'll see. All right, guys, thank you for joining me today for this quick little stitch with me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And please hit the bell. That way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe. Stay healthy. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye. Keep stitching.